Hello folks, this is Rod Machado. Have you ever had a spark plug fouled by carbon or lead prior to taking off? Well, if you have, then you realize that that kept you from doing the thing you wanted to do most, and that's take off. That is, of course, unless you had a way of clearing those particles from your spark plug. Let me show you a technique that I learned a long time ago that will do just that. It's known as thermal shock. Now, this technique was conveyed to me by a retired TWA pilot who once flew Lockheed Constellations, aircraft having large radial engines. When the plugs fouled on those engines, you needed a way to quickly clear them. Here's that method. Let's suppose that during a run-up magneto check at 1700 RPM, you find that there's an excessive drop in RPM between the right and left magneto. It's possible that one or more spark plugs are carbon or lead fouled. So let's try eliminating the fouling particles by thermally shocking them. Begin by increasing power to some higher level between the run-up RPM and climb power. Now I'll use 2200 RPM in this example. My objective here is to increase the heat in the cylinders, and I'll further heat up the cylinders by leaning the mixture to the best power setting. With a fixed pitch propeller, you can do this by leaning until the RPM peaks, and then I'll leave the power alone and let the cylinders heat up for at least 20 seconds. In an airplane with a constant speed propeller, you can either use your graphic engine monitor to lean for best power, or you can just listen for maximum engine sound to find this value. Next, I'll pull out the prime knob and chamber a full sleeve of prime. After 20 seconds, I'll simultaneously push in on the mixture and the prime knob, which is a lot easier to do if you're not holding a camera. Now it's time to try the mag check again by reducing the RPM to the run-up value. And it looks like we've successfully thermally shocked and cracked whatever particles might have been fouling those plugs. Now for those flying airplanes without manual priming knobs, you can simultaneously inject cold fuel into the cylinders by moving the boost pump switch to its low or high setting for a few seconds as you push the mixture knob to its full forward position. Use whichever boost setting won't flood and stop your engine at this mid-range RPM. Now that's one technique for dealing with fouled plugs, but I want to caution you. Thermal shock only works on fouled plugs. It doesn't work on stuck valves or leaky ignition harnesses or anything else that might masquerade as a fouled plug. So in the run-up area, give this technique a try once, maybe even twice. But if that doesn't do the trick, then I suggest you try a mechanical approach to solving the problem. And by that I mean, call your mechanic. If you want to pass your IFR knowledge exam or your private pilot knowledge exam, then check out my 50-hour and or 40-hour instrument pilot e-ground school or private pilot e-ground school, respectively. Not only will you pass the exam, but you'll learn more about the essentials of IFR or VFR flying that you just won't get in other ground training programs. Why? Well, because I've been instructing for over five decades have personally written and illustrated seven aviation books, five of which are aviation textbooks, delivered training programs in all 50 states and many European countries, and have won countless awards from the FAA for my aviation training programs. In short, you won't be taught by a private pilot with limited experience and a basic ground instructor rating. Instead, you'll receive quality ground training that makes it easy and fun to learn. So visit rodmachado.com and check out the large selection of aviation educational courses.